Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So, today we're gonna continue our case in Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. And so, last time we discovered how the murder escaped. So, now we have to climb up the attic. Okay, we are in the attic. So, what are we supposed to do? Glass shards. These shards of glass are from the window above. Broken window. Let's take a look. Pocket. It's empty. Empty. What else? Oh. Broken window. Someone broke through the window to get inside the attic, but in his haste he ripped his jacket. Oh. That's not good. Okay, so shabby fabric, black threads. A cluster of thick black threads. They're unusually strong. I should examine them under the microscope. Okay. We can conclude that the person whom Leighton saw climbed up the wall, broke into the attic window, and escaped through the hatch. Okay, so, Leighton, uh, you are not the matter at all now. I don't give a f He is innocent, that's all. Why, because if I choose a compelling evidence... No, no. I said he is not... He is innocent for, for hell's sake. So... Uh, space... Nope. So it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's get back to Baker Street. But first of all, let's go downstairs and talk to the people. So. Um, I know that we have other doors, but leave it. I'm always wondering what. Okay. Mr. Holmes, did you see my brother at Scotland Yard? It would be my pleasure. Okay, let's head to Scotland Yard. Oh no, not to Scotland Yard, mate. Uh, Baker Street. You know, it's been a long time. I haven't played that game because I was moving. So, yeah. I will take some time. And then I will play another Sherlock Holmes games. And by the way, I've bought the new one. And I'm also going to play this on my channel. So, anyway, let's take a look at the microscope. Okay. What? Let us take a closer look. So, what is it? It is not a thread, but a hair. I very much doubt that it is human. Oh, really? I need to compare this sample with a human hair and a horse hair. Hmm. A shaving brush is usually made from horsehair. Watson, uh, could you please pass me your shaving brush? Here you are. Okay. Uh, Watson, look, what's outside the window? Well, I don't see anything. Ouch! Holmes! Oh, don't make such a fuss. One little hair. Okay. Well, that was really funny by you. Okay, human hair. Human hair is significantly thinner than the black sample. Okay, and then? The horse hair is thinner than the hair that we found. So, this black hair belongs to an animal, and it is larger than a horse. A hair from a large and exotic animal. A monkey? I is it a monkey? Okay. Then it makes no link. So we know that it was an animal. I'm always what Now what should we do? We can't solve the crime. Um let's go ask a few questions to you later. Because I need answers, mate.
Okay, Layton. Layton, you're gonna talk, or I'm gonna make you talk. Please believe me, Mister. Ah, oh, god dang it. Okay, let's go to Half Moon Street. Looks like nobody wants to talk to me, and that is really, really, you know, awful and insulting and other things here. So. Look here, lad. You'd better go home and start thinking about what a fine pickle your brother's landed himself in. Ha! But he'll be free tonight, cause he's innocent. Don't be daft, lad. It's a closed case. I said shut up, mate. It would be my pleasure to assist you with your investigation, Mr. Holmes. So, looks like I'm not done with the investigations up there. Like, do you have do we have anything else about him? Um, let's see. Like these shot. Oh wait, what? Am I really done with the case? Let's see. Long lost. Art. But then I have nothing. Maybe oh yeah, maybe we can we can find something from the pawn shop that has long hairs like I don't know are they breeding an animal or something? Let's see, let's see. No, nothing, clearly nothing, nothing in the pub, so what is it now, um, should I make deductions? Um, Circus Acrobatic Man who went from the uh, Circus Acrobatic He managed to scare Okay Simultaneous shots And then crossfire Oh Okay There we go Vanishing act Okay We have something to investigate I guess As for Wiggins Help to find the circus. That's it. That's it. Let's go, mate. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Another cutscene. Cinematic. I don't know how you say Mr. Constable, why did you become a constable? Why? Because I wanted to serve Her Majesty, that's why. And what about serving the people like us? What? Your sort are the plague of London. Be quiet now. Okay. You're not done asking bullshit. Mr. Holmes? We have good news for you, Wiggins. The investigation has proven very interesting so far. We found facts and details that confirm your brother's innocence. I knew it, Mr. Holmes. But for now, Wiggins, we need your help. Anything you like, Gov. I need you to locate a circus that has stopped over in London. It needs to have disposed of at least one exotic animal, a very large one. You can count on me, Mr. Holmes. Okay. I trust you, Wiggins. Oh, he's taking me to the circus, it looks like. Continue. 
The next morning? Wait, what? I do hope that those children don't get into trouble, Holmes. Don't worry, Watson. I predict some news in seven seconds. Mr. Holmes, we found it. Here it is. Okay, let me see. And this is a young Indian elephant, the highlight of the show. Okay. Duval Brothers, a well-known traveling circus that is currently stopped in London. I believe that is exactly the type of circus we are looking for. I'll pay it a visit. Me too, let's go. So, Duval Bros Circus. Let's go there. So, let's see, let's see. Hi, you. Stop right there. Good morning, sir. Pardon me, but why am I not allowed to walk around here? Because it's private. Well, I only wanted to meet artists. Hmm? You're wanting to apply for... Nah. You don't look like the type of uh, artistic lock picker that we're looking for. You might be surprised. What? Nah. I don't think so. Clear off. Okay, this guy's rude. Okay, so now I have to disguise myself. Great, now let's get back to Baker Street. Let's see what kind of disguise I could I can I could wear. Open deductions, no need. Watson, what the hell are you doing? Holmes, I won't be able to join you. I promised to visit a patient today. It's all right, Watson. Okay, any circus stuff? Light suit, bandit outfit, farmer outfit. No. Not that one. Not the casual one. Not the black suit. The bandit outfit. Maybe that one goes well. Let's give it a shot. And just to be sure, let's remove the hat. Or you know what? I think it's just a just a piece of wardrobe. So anyway. Now let's go back to the circuit. Easily recognized without facial hair. Oh, okay. Facial hair. Let's give you a fancy Yeah. A fancy beard. That one looks too weird. That one's fine. Okay, so now we can go there. I'd better wear a shabby hat. A shabby hat, okay. Let's see what do you have. Not that one. That one must be the right one. Stay where you are. What are you doing here and where is Sherlock Holmes? Calm down, Watson. Take deep breaths now. It's me. Oh, thank God, Holmes. I can't get used to your disguises. Thank you, Watson. That means I am ready to go. Deb, you look better with the beard, Sherlock. Don't you know that? Okay, let's see if now this fat ass will let me go there. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm here to open the locks. Talented, eh? Let's see. Go inside the marquee and show yourself to Charles Foley. And I'd highly advise you not to trick him. Got that? I've got it. Okay. That's a nice wardrobe, by the way. Anyway, let's get inside. So, 
Everything is here, just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues, it couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. I want to be paid first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right? I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. Of course not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. Okay, we're gonna catch him. Barrel, so what's inside the barrel? This wooden barrel is damaged. It is difficult to say what is inside. This Okay. There is a spot on this barrel. Oh, okay, something. Crest? The crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Could it be gunpowder? I need to be sure. Oh, wait, what? Crack, hit. Judging by the fractions and the scent, I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. Okay. Bow. The barrels are... So, okay, normal barrels. Um, now, what's in there? Oh, what is that? Printing press. Oh, that. Rise up and keep rising from lambs into lions. From lambs into lions. Those are words of encouragement and defiance. That's a picture of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion amongst the people. Okay. Hmm. There are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls. This printing press is old, but still quite capable of printing hundreds of pages per day. Okay. Propaganda powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen by the Merry Men quite recently. And these poster samples. I am quite sure it is not a coincidence. The Merry Men are planning some sort of sabotage. Stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? We'll see that lock near the chains on the table over there. Open that. Okay, so let's take a look on you. So. A key. Protected safe. Recent trauma. You, you indeed have a gun. Cutthroat. Okay. Stolen antics. Oh. What about your finger? Tap finger. Agility practice. Acrobat. He is all man, but he, he is innocent. Because he was not the one. Are you still tempered with that look? Okay, what am I supposed to do with that lock? Okay. I have to do this bloody puzzle again. Anything linked with it? Like, does it have any link? Okay. Just like these. Now what? Okay, you go like these. And then what? I guess you do this.
and then something weird just like that oh and that's it okay so what now open the lock and circus market i need to find out what's behind this charles foley okay suspicious suspicious Still looking for it. Charles Foley is inside the marquee. Okay, I know. So let's get back here. Antic, okay. Foley's revolver. Man in jacket. Maybe he was the one. Okay, but it's still there. Okay. Oh. Well, they're right. What's your name? Nigel Shirley from York. Ah, Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? Okay. Um. Antique bracelet. Oh no. Wait. What? Ah. Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? Okay. Okay. I messed up again. Ah, Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? Turner's. Who is Turn? Okay. It's a long story. I met your brother. Vincent the Butcher Foley in prison. He told me all about his betrayal and all about you. Before I was released, he told me that you might find a job for me one day and pay me some money for my craft. Well, he died seven days ago in prison. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. The traitor has paid the blood price for it. And you'll do the job anyway, because I need a talented look picker. I know just where to search for his legacy. It's all about the Hellenistic treasures, isn't it? Gosh, you fool. Now, listen up. You'll come with us tonight, and you better mind yourself. Us? Wait, who's coming then? Billy, Jack and me. And what will I get for that? We'll share the loot. The one you seem to know about. Right. Wait for us at the abandoned manor house on a corner of Ledbrook Grove and Kensington Park Road at midnight. Deal. Okay, then let's go there. So we were supposed to wait here until midnight. Okay, looks like it's done. We have everyone. Here I am at the manor. Somewhere inside it are the Hellenistic. Treasures. Okay, but I think I'm gonna keep it for later because it took me really long. I'm gonna stop here. So, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed that video, please consider to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next video. So, goodbye.